Okay, so that's all well and good when you've got um, glucose around, but what about when you don't? So, for example, if you have diabetes or you just decided to go on a no-carb diet, what's going to happen? So you're going to have to respire your fatty acids and your amino acids. So I've drawn this already. So this is my triglyceride. Uh, so here are your fatty acid chains and here's the glycerol molecule. Uh, so these ester bonds will be... Oh, God, my hand's a bit shaky. These ester bonds will be hydrolyzed. Um, to form the fatty acids and the glycerol molecule. Now, glycerol can be can enter the Krebs cycle directly. Uh, not Krebs cycle, sorry. It can go into here, glycolysis around this stage. And now the fatty acid tails can't do that, so they have to be uh, sort of attached to acetyl coenzyme A, and they're transported into the mitochondria, which requires ATP. And then, in you can see, I've put my little lines. So where there's the little lines, they'll break up into two carbon long bits the acetate bits and bind to coenzyme A and then you have acetyl coenzyme A. So you can see from that you have lots and lots and lots of uh, acetyl coenzyme A from one molecule of fatty acid. So you'll get loads of NADH per molecule. You've got more hydrogens per carbon. Okay, and then oh, with proteins, they'll get deaminated and so that removes the amine group and then they'll be, that be convert them into their ketone form or ketones and they can enter also into glycolysis around here but you don't want to be respiring your proteins because they're super 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 useful and um, when you get to that stage something's really wrong with the way you've um, been feeding yourself okay that's very nice uh, so then the last bit is oh, did it again, is respiratory quotient quotients or quotients however you say it which is RQ so that's Sure uh, so it's the CO2 released over the O2 consumed. So for your carbohydrates, carbs, your RQ is equal to 1. So if you look at your glucose, or just any of these, you end up with 6 CO2 over 6 O2, which makes um, 1. Then for things like your fats, you're going to have loads of hydrogen here, so you're going to need loads of oxygen so your oxygen is not going to increase far more than your CO2 is so you end up with a smaller number on top and a larger number on the bottom and for fats it's around 0 0.7 for fats and then for pro proteins it's around 0 0.9 and that will change depending on what you've eaten in the day what um so whether you've just had a high sugar meal where you've got diabetes, you're probably you're likely to respire far more fats and proteins because you can't get your sugars into the, your cells. Okay, and I think that is respiration done.